Hello people, yes, this is JP Ronnie, as always, ready to bring you yet another video. Oh yes, this time it is another video of a game in the Essential PlayStation series. This time it is Essential PlayStation Disc number 5. Now I should point out, I don't actually own number 4, so I can't do video on it. So, yeah, I'm just going to have to skip to number 5, because... I'm missing a few of the discs in the series, and that really kind of sucks, you know. If I owned all of the discs, I would do videos on all of them. As it is, I'm just going to have to do most of them, so yeah. And, same looking menu as always, although uh, the icons on this one look a lot better, I think, anyway. They're much cooler looking than the previous ones, anyway. But, ignoring that, we have got Rage Racer, Exhumed, Warhammer... Excalibur 2555, Destruction Derby 2, Pandemonium, Little Big Adventure, Reloaded, Monster Trucks, and Street Racer. So yeah, uh, Rage Racer, let's have a look at this. Well, I know what this game's like anyway, because I've played this before. I mean, I've said before, I've got all the Rage Race games on PS1, and to me, the Rage Racer games are at the best when they're just trying to be like an arcade game, which is, you know, I mean, I really like this game, uh, but at the same time, I kind of prefer the original, so I can just play a sort of quick diversion, or whatever, and this sort of tries to be more complex than it really is, I think. I'm not saying it's bad because of that, but it's just Start like, and let's <clears> get it on. so a concept in the music and this one, which is kind of weird. Okay, and hey, you get one lap, that sucks. Two, one, go! Okay, let's do this. Oh, I will. Well, try to fail. See, I don't get this. Why do you only get to do one lap? It's the same problem with uh, Ridge Race Revolution. You only get to do one lap for some reason. And, okay, I'm a bit rusty playing this one. It's been a while since I played this one. I mean, the other one that I really bothered to play much recently was like the first game that was it. Even then, I didn't really beat the game, I just, you know. I just got to the time trial and just gave up. And, I don't know, if there's one thing that's always bugged me about Ridge Racer, it's that you have to rely on, like, the drifting and stuff. I mean, I know that's, like, the whole, like, the main thing about the game. But I don't know, it's just, the drifting thing always just kind of bugged me. It's like, you know, if it was just about, like, maneuvering your way around the track and just winning, you know, just trying to win the race normally. Yo, I'd probably like this game more, to be honest. That's just me, I guess. I mean, you know. That's, you know, it just, it sounds kind of weird talking about that a bit, like a Ridge Racer game. Yeah, and it's also kind of weird that they call this Rage Racer. Like, the, like, none of the sequels have titles that make any sense until, like, Ridge Racer 5. Because you got Ridge Racer, and then you got Ridge Racer Revolution, which may as well just be called Ridge Racer 2. Then you have Rage Racer, then you got Ridge Racer Type 4, or is that like Type 4 Diabetes or something? I don't know. Even though it doesn't actually exist, but I don't really care. But of course, you can't actually win this, it's impossible. It's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's like, how are you supposed to beat that demo? It's, I mean, at least with Ridge Racer Type 4, it's actually possible to win. So yeah, sod that. Yeah, I'm not even gonna like bother looking at the end. If the game isn't gonna give me a chance to win, it's not really worth it. Exhumed. Now this game, I remember this game, and I remember this being quite good. Although I seem to remember the controls in this are a bit awkward because I remember I played this demo out of interest because I know this is like a first-person shooter. And uh, yeah, the bottomy software. I don't remember. I think I might have played another game that did, but I, I can't remember. But as you can see, it's in Egypt, which, uh, I don't know, that just... It reminds me of Serious Sam, actually. Just that. So, yeah, X button jumps, square button attacks, circle... I don't know what that does, actually. Maybe it just runs? I'm not sure. Triangle... Oh, yeah, you have to use triangles to look around. The whole looking around thing is kind of awkward. I kind of wish they just made it, like, Doom... Where it doesn't really matter what elevation the enemy is at, you know, as long as... Oh yeah, you got a gun. I forgot about that. And, yeah. And the gameplay, I'd say, for the most part, it does remind me of Doom. See, and, 
yeah, killing the scorpions is kind of awkward. Because it's like, you, you have to be facing towards the floor, otherwise you won't hit them. Which, I oh know, to me it just feels kind of weird. Um, also, I remember with, with, with this demo, if you try to go on the... Like, this camel over there, and it's like... If you try to go on it, it just ends the demo, I think. Like, I go here. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure if you try to go on the camel, it just ends the demo. So it's kind of pointless, really. And I do want to play this game, actually. I mean, I, I hope there's a PC version. Because if there is, I'm definitely playing that. Because, I mean, you know, first-person shooters, especially, like, old-school ones, to me are just, you know, they tend to be better on PC. Okay, so the circle wouldn't activate stuff, I see. Oh, okay, I hit that one. And, oh, we'll get... No, get out of the way. See, I should probably use the gun at this point, but, you know. Actually, it's sight, let's just do that. Wow, this gun is so slow, it's unbelievable. Compared to, like, the pistol in Doom, it's... Oh, okay, I got... Machine gun? LMG? Actually, not only go up here. No, can I... Can I not stand on the swing? Okay, well, I see a scorpion bug is in the way, so maybe that's what's causing the problem. Or, well, most likely not. Okay, get him away. I'm a radical biker. <laughs> and I don't think there is a run button in this. Or, well, maybe there is, and I just... No, I'm pretty sure there isn't, So I tried all the buttons. And I'm willing to bet press and select quits out of the demo, so I don't want to do that. Like, yeah, start just pauses the game. But then, you'd pretty much expect that with pretty much any game. Is that the start button pauses? The start button does pause the game, what the hell does it do? Yeah, these scorpions are just kind of awkward to kill. Yeah, and then of course you get enemies in the in this stuff. Although it's hard to kill. But I need that health. If I can find some. But like I said, this really reminds you of Doom. You know, it's almost like they tried to take Doom and try to make it I'd say they tried to take it a bit more like Serious Sam, but of course Serious Sam didn't exist in nineteen ninety seven. Yeah, that's when this disc was made, in case you're wondering. I'm not sure when in 1997, but probably, so, you know, I guess in around like, the middle of 1997, something like that, I guess. I don't know. Of course, you can't go through there, that kind of sucks. And, yes, I'm not really sure. Ooh, okay, I think there's a secret here. Maybe? Oh, maybe not. Because I'm thinking, you know, this is like an old school shooter, there's got to be secrets in these levels. <laughs> And I think, wasn't this called like Power Slave in the US or something like that? I mean, Exhumed kind of makes more sense, I think. I mean, for all I know, you know. Actually, I've noticed the health looks just like these things. I know, is it like MP or something? Like an RPGs or something? I don't really know. But yeah, I mean, really simple stuff here. I mean, it's like, you play Doom, yeah. Okay, switch, nice. Uh, did it open? No, we're gonna go down here. Okay, for some reason it's not letting me go down to the water. It's kind of weird. It's like, if it was Doom, you could easily fit through there. But, whatever. Um. Oh, oh, symbol of power. What? I'm guessing that... Let's have a look at that. So I assume it looks like that. Yeah, the symbol thing. Actually, is this a secret here? No. I mean, like I said, Doom Star game has got to be secrets in it. If it doesn't have secrets, then what the hell does it have? Still can't go through there. Can I go through. Actually, what happens? Cause I, want, I might see if shooting this stuff works. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I certainly wasn't going to. Ooh, okay, there's more of them. Yeah. I said that pistol. For some reason, it reminds me of Goldeneye. Even though it probably shouldn't, but it just does. Oh. Why are the scorpions blue? That seems kind of weird to me. I mean, maybe there are blue scorpions in real life. I don't know. Okay, so what have we got here? Well, there's some water. Ooh, there's a water bit. 
can go through here. No, I can't. Oh. See, I can hear the scorpions. I can't see them, though. See, I was... See, the kind of books is I just... I basically just look at the ground the whole time. Because I'm having to kill all the scorpions. Uh, so what do we do here? Okay, well, I can't go through there. Where are these symbols, anyway? I've no idea. Uh... Oh, okay, the controls here are kind of weird. It's like it, it's like you like use the D-pad to sort of turn around, and you have to use the X button to go forward, which is kind of weird. I mean, uh, although at the same time, I kind of prefer this control method over like your know, Tomb Raider, where you just have to keep like holding down the square button or whatever. Well, actually, it works pretty similarly, but oh no, in this game, it feels like it kind of works better. Oh, okay, what was that? Oh, I can't get back up there. That sucks. What the hell's going on? Ah, okay, I see. Can I go over here? Yes, I can. To go from this guy's super jumping abilities, that's all I'll say. Okay. Well, apparently that door is sealed. It isn't anymore, mate. Okay, so there's like a door I can go through now. See, I mean, it's like pretty much like. I don't understand why they have so many of these scorpion enemies, because they're not even hard to kill or anything. You just have to, like, avoid walking into them, and that's it. You just hold down the square button. Pretty simple. So I don't understand why they have so many of them in this. So I can't go through here. Kind of sucks. So I'm thinking maybe th this could be like a... Maybe this is... I mean, it's like I said, you know, back to the whole secrets thing. You know, if it plays like Doom, it's got to have secrets in it somewhere. So now we can go through here... Is it going to be a different enemy? Oh, okay, there is. Nice. S might as well test out the F LMG here. So there we go. <laughs> LMGs can be pretty awesome depending on the game. Oh, oh, bugger. No, get him away. What the health? Uh, okay, can I. It's going up here, doing anything? Well, you don't seem to take damage from the fire, so that's something. Oh, ooh, what the hell? Oh, okay, it's a trap. I see. And apparently I died, so that's it. <laughs> oh well. Uh, but like I said, I do want to get the full version of that, because that's actually pretty awesome. Because, I mean, I really like old school shooters and whatever, but anyway. Warhammer. I remember this. I I know this is like an RTS game because I think one of the first discs I got, one of the first you know Euro demos or whatever, was demo sixteen, which has this game on it. And I quit it about a minute in because I was like, it's like they don't tell you the controls, and I was like, I don't know what to do in this. <laughs> you know, I haven't got a clue how to play this, and for wanting to play this, I just play it on the PC. You know. I mean, that's the thing with RTS games, you know. RTS games are really made for the PC, you know. Like, I've played a few on PS1. Um, so what is this? I have no idea. So, oh, okay, you can change the formation. So I do Cossacks, you know, just that, does at least. So, deploy my regiments. Like, I have no idea what I'm doing here. They don't explain what you're supposed to do. And it's like, you know... I'm not familiar with Warhammer. Like, I know Warhammer is like... It's one of these things where you get like a bunch of action figures and you get to like fight each other or something. I know it's something along those lines, because I know my brother used to... I know my brother used to get like Warhammer stuff, but I never really cared about it. So that's start, I guess. I mean, I'm, I can only assume like... Have I got other regiments? Okay, I guess so. Uh, so how do I select them? Okay, so I'll select these. Let's see, like, I don't know what the difference is between these. I mean, I don't know... You know, I don't know what types of units they are. I don't know, you know, what this strategy is. I don't know what the enemies are, you know. It's like, they just, like, throw you into the dark. Or they just, you know... They throw you out of the frying pan into the fire immediately. You know, it's... 
I mean, seriously, it's like, what am I even supposed to do here? You know, I mean, it's not like I don't like RTS games. I mean, there's some RTS games out there I do like. Um, but at the same time, it's like, you know, if I'm going to play, like, an RTS game, I'm going to play it on PC. That's all I'm going to say. Like, even, like, good RTS games on PS1 are better on the PC. It's as simple as that. And, you know, it's like, I'll, and, you know, I like RTS games. But, if I'm going to play an RTS game, it's going to be, it, you know, it's going to be on the PC. The control better on PC. You know, you don't have to, <laughs> you have to deal with this slippery D-pad nonsense. And then you got all this stuff. I mean... Yes, my lord. So, attack yes, these. Lord. See, I mean, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing here. It's like, you know, it's like they expect you to know this stuff as soon as you go in. You know, I mean... Yes, I'll say it before and I'll say it again. I mean, you don't really need to... I don't think they never really need to explain the controls for this one. I mean, it's fairly self-explanatory, because the way they set up the, um, the stuff on the bottom right, you know. It's so, like I know, you know, the I is like the X button and attack is like triangle, but I don't really know. It's like, you know, this is, I mean, RTS games, you know, if you're going to play a demo of it, you really need like a tutorial. That's all I'm going to say about that. It just, it doesn't really work. At least that's what I think anyway. I mean, I don't know, like this might be a good game, but I don't know. It's like, I don't even know what I'm doing here. So I'm just inevitably going to lose really badly because, like I said, I don't have to play this. And, you know, I mean, there's, you know, and there's certain, like, RTS games that I can get into, like, uh, Cossacks on PC. Actually, like, well, I say on the PC, like, all of them on the PC, really. You know, it's like, who would I play this? And surely there's a PC version of this game. Because, I mean, you know. And it's like, really, it's like, if you want to play an RTS game, you just play it on PC. That's it, you know? Like, I can't even tell, like, what are the enemies and what are the friendlies, because it's so immediately obvious. I mean, you play some, like, Cossacks, and the enemies are all colour-coded, or, you know, the t or the different sides are all colour-coded, so you can easily tell which one is which. And that's good, because you actually know what you're doing, kind of. It's like, if I could practice this game, maybe, maybe it'd be a decent game. But as it is, you know, just playing this blind... I mean, playing an RTS game blind doesn't work, believe me. I've tried, I've done it before. I mean, it's like, like, what, like, what are the enemies even trying to do? I have no idea. Like, no, stop that. <laughs> Sorry, it's just, you know. If you're going to explain something like that, then... Yeah, you know, there's no point in playing it because it's just stupid. You know, trying to play an RTS game blind, it's like trying to like you know, it's like trying to do like brain surgery blind, you know, it just doesn't work. Uh scale of twenty five fifty five. I remember this game and I remember this game sucked. So I've played this before and it's pretty terrible. It's cause this is like it's like an adventure game. Kind of. But it's just, it's a really terrible adventure game is what it is, as you will see. Uh, so let's start this. I don't understand why they have that title screen, because you can't select anything, so it's kind of pointless, really. And I don't understand why they would include stuff like this, when they could have included, like, some actual good games, you know? <laughs> Maybe there weren't that many good games in the middle of 1997, but still, you know, sure they could have done better than this, is all I'm going to say. I'm trying to remember what demo this was on. Actually, no, I don't think I've got the demo this was on, but I think... I seem to remember this, like, the demo this was on. I think it was, like, the same demo that had, like, Micro Machines V3 or something. And, my, and I can tell you now, straight up, Micro Machines V3 is a better game. Just simple as. I, I don't care what anyone says. It's, it's a, it is a better game. So, yeah. And I have I don't remember if I beat this last time. I don't think I did. I think I just gave up at one point and just the quit. Trador. I was wounded on a raid on the Orc peasant and yeah. left for dead well, by my people. This. We were trying to rescue one of our officers that the Orc had captured on our last raid. <laughs> oh, this by the way. I am badly in need <laughs> of some one. medical attention. If you can find my backpack <laughs> where the medical...
medicate in there. <laughs> Please help. Me. I'm sorry, just that voice acting is just brilliant. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, first off, I mean, there's a number of problems I have with this game. First off, the animation is like really lazy, even for like early PS1. It's like they don't even have any turning animation. It's like talk about laziness. And okay, let me go to the map because I want to. So I don't even know which way I'm facing. <laughs> and the map certainly doesn't help. Okay, so yeah, I'm facing the right way. And the combat is it's terrible. Oh you bugger. See this I'm gonna say this right now, the combat in this game is god awful. It's it's like King's Adventure. Only it just only not as good. You know, in terms like the combat that is. Because this is all you have to do, you can just do keep doing that. Because you got like three different like attacks. It's like you, know, but it's like you can just keep doing the same one over and over again, and it doesn't matter like you know which move it is. It's pretty much because they're all pretty much the same in terms of functionality. And go off the <laughs> go off the clipping right here, like like oh, it doesn't really make much sense. So collect the empty glass because you need that for later. I remember that. But yeah, I mean. The adventure parts of the the thing about this game is the adventure stuff is just boring. Um, yeah, the interface stuff is kind of confusing. At least at first, anyway. You know, I certainly couldn't figure out what to do when I first played this. Um, and the combat is just terrible. You know, it's basic. Doesn't really work that well. You know, it's it's almost random chance whether you win a battle or not. Really. Are you? I mean, like, I'm not a big fan of turn-based RPGs, generally speaking, but they have way more going for them in terms of combat than this. At least there's something to them. Yeah. I don't think there's any items here. Actually, no. I remember I got to, like, a homeless guy, and then I think I lost. What's this? I'm just gonna keep pressing the circle button and maybe the X button occasionally. Like the enemy strategy is to keep blocking everything half time. The other half time they just they don't they don't give toss. And you can kill them in less hits if you charge up the attack, but as soon as the enemy just blocks most of the time anyway, it really doesn't matter. You might as well just keep mashing the button. So look at this. It just blocks everything. So it's like, there's no point charging up the attack, because by the time you've charged it up, the enemy's just going to block it anyway, so it's pointless. See, and that's why the combat sucks, you know, charging up the attacks is entirely pointless, because you never hit anything with it. Um, and the basic attacks are all the same, you know. It's just, it's not very, it's just not a fun game to play, it's, it's really that simple. So, use the key here. I mean, I'm not even sure if I'm going to even bother trying to play through this time, so... I forget if I died last time, or if I just gave up. Actually, no, I remember there was, like, a rat, and I couldn't figure out how to get the rat. Or something like that. I mean... Like I said, this game, it's just boring, it doesn't really play that well. You know. And, I mean, like... I mean, like, the level design, you know, it's like a... You know, the level design just, it feels like a dungeon crawler, just the way it's been designed, like, everything's flat. You know, there's a real interest, and... Okay, I'm gonna say key. But, I mean, you know, everything's flat, you know, there's nothing really interesting. And, like... Oh, yeah, you can't run, I forgot about that. But, I mean... You know, you got, like, these caves and stuff, and then, all of a sudden, you're in a bar. Like, what sense does that make? You know, it doesn't really, yeah, like, so noisy, boring, it doesn't really make sense either. If you're after a drink, you're out of luck. I was forced to stop serving drinks months ago. I have plenty of grog, but no glasses to pour it into. So yeah, let me just give this guy the glass. I am just skipping all the text, because I played this before on, um, your demo 106, so you know. I'm afraid I can't serve you a drink at the bar, but here's a bottle of grog for your father or someone. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. This game's terrible. <laughs> but I mean, I don't know. Oh, okay, I found. Okay, I've just found this. 
chicken leg. Oh yes. So let's just go through here. Speed run. Or whatever this is. This is it. You just go through like you just go through a billion hallways, occasionally engaging in some of the worst combat I've ever seen. <laughs> so we gotta give Yeah, we gotta give the grog to this guy and then he gives us something. There's not much in there. Here. Have this key. Fine well. I'll take the key. Yeah. I kinda I kinda wanna beat this demo actually. You know, just so I can say I'll beat it. But at the same time, you know, is it really worth beating something this bad? Not really. But, you know, may as well do it anyway. So we use the key here. I mean I mean this is pretty simple stuff. Once you figure out the controls, like this adventure stuff is really basic and pretty easy to be honest. It's just figuring out, you know, where to go, that's it. Because I've done this stuff before and yeah, you got this homeless guy. And I remember you gotta get like a rat or something, and then you get the backpack and then whatever you want, you can't have it. You know, that's it. Yeah, I don't really care. <laughs> so I can't just, I'm trying to see if I can finish this quick. Like, so I know this demo is probably going to take at least an hour. Maybe? I'm not sure. But this is like the fourth game, so... Oh, yeah, because I remember... I don't think he... I mean, I might be wrong, but I don't think you can kill that guy. So I remember I played this before, and it's like... You, you can hit him like a billion times, and he still doesn't die. Like, maybe I'm missing something there. But I don't think he, I don't think there's a way to kill him. So it's like you know it's pointless him going into that room. And yeah, so there's a room that I'm missing up here. Six, six. Okay, I found an apple. Now over here there's a rat. And I gotta say this right now: the first time I played this. Like when I played, or rather the last time I played this, I actually thought you were supposed to use the apple to like lure the rat. But no, that's not what you do at all. And I haven't got a clue what you're supposed to do. Do you should run up to it? Hmm. Maybe that works, I'm not sure. Oh, and press the wrong button. <laughs> so I've got the circle button does that. See, because I mean, as far as I'm aware, you can't actually use the weapons to do anything else. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay, you got. Oh, yeah, you can change the camera. Uh, well, I say, like, oh, yeah, I didn't actually know this until now. <laughs> actually, just go, just go with the. No, what's up with the camera? Just go with that brilliant model work there. No, oh, what the hell's the camera doing? So, yeah, it's just the old. You know, the shoulder one just changed the camera and changed this, you know. I'm going to sneak up on the rats. It's still go in. Yeah, it does. So it's like, what am I even supposed to do here? And, okay. Like, I am not really sure what to do at this point. Because I'm pretty sure if we go in this section, there's like an enemy that's unkillable. Yeah. Just go over like a ridiculous haircut or something. So, you know, I'm just going to try to run past him. See, look at this. He's got like a freaking. See, I don't know if he's supposed to kill that guy, but I remember I tried to kill that guy before, and it just. No matter how many times you hit him, he does not die, believe me. You can hit him like a billion times and he doesn't die. Okay, let's just go in here. Might as well try to see if I can kill this guy. Because, yeah, also I'm going to have a different guy. Oh! Okay, so. Actually, made it. Get that to work for once, that's actually... That makes a difference. Yeah. Oh, was the meat what fell from him? Because... I'm pressing the button now, it's not doing anything, so... And... You know, it's like, what am I even supposed to do? Because am I supposed to kill the, you know... The other guy with the guy haircut or whatever? I don't know. Because I thought I was supposed to rescue the rat, but I don't... I mean, do we use the meat? Let's try that. Well, I'm guessing he's just gonna eat it. Oh, oh, okay, apparently that works. I think. 
So let's so let's get the rats. Yeah, I did it. I might actually be able to beat this demo, so that's saying something. Okay, so we go through here. We get to the homeless guy. After, I mean, I don't understand like why they have so many corridors because like most of them are just completely empty. You know, it's just like what's the point to even most of this like corridor stuff? You know. I guess I tried to give more of an atmosphere, but it just, you know, it just feels empty in just not, not in a good way. Anything I have is yours. I see you had your eye on that backpack. All it had in it was this medikit. Take it. It's yours. Thank you. Also, I understand, like, I don't get, like, why the barman has, like, an American accent and everyone else has, like, an English accent. It just seems kind of weird to me. Oh, no. But yeah, I assume. So presumably, if I take the medipack to um, to that other guy at the beginning, I can get past. Like, because you'll notice there was like another door near the beginning of the level, and there's like a robot in the way. And I assume the guy who needs the backpack, I assume like he will give you like some batteries or something. I'm guessing because I'm. I think the robot. If I remember correctly, he just he ran out of battery or something. I don't know. I think that's how this bit works. So let's give this guy the medicare. This should work. This is it. You just run around doing errands. And that's it. Pretty much. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> Told you. Okay. Well, thanks. Uh. See a power cell, that's it. So hopefully this is the end of the level. Fucking Yeah, because it's the next room, isn't it? And I just said, why is okay, why is one of the rooms suddenly turned like red? I don't really understand that. Doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, maybe someone knows. Like maybe someone actually has this game. Hopefully I don't have to fight this robot. So far as I'm not gonna have a chance to help beating this, but nope, he seems uh, seems be annoying, and hopefully that's the whole demo, because ooh, please, yes level complete, awesome wait, spoken to levels, that seems kind of weird for like an adventure game sort of thing I mean, I'm not sure if I could say it's adventure it's probably supposed to be something else, but I'm just going to call it an adventure game and, okay, so that's it uh, just call it out that well, at least I beat the demo, so that's nice um, but like I said, I mean, it's, the game itself just isn't very good, but, yeah. It's always to be a demo, even if the game sucks. And this course, I waste so much time on it that it's like, it takes like an hour or something. Anyway, Destruction Derby 2. There isn't a chance in hell I'm going to beat this demo, because if this is the same demo that was on, um, yeah, registration demo number 1, then this is going to suck, because, I mean, I've said it before, the racing in, um... Destruction Derby 2 sucks. It's as simple as that. You know, it's just... It's not a good racing game. The Destruction Derby mode is good. But the rest of the game, like this stuff... Yeah. Same demo. I'm sure it sucks. And it just... As you will say, the racing... It's just not very good. Because the problem with this game... Wait, what the... <laughs> Why has this got, like, Rage Race music? That's weird. Look at this, like, I messed up and now I'm in, like, 6th place. And why do I face for that other car? That's just weird. Look at this. Like, I've fallen behind and now, like, everyone's overtaking me. It's like, no matter how well you play, unless you play perfectly, you haven't got a chance in hell of winning this. I mean, you can win on, like, race points, I guess. But if you're trying to win the race, it's impossible. And that's what I really hate about this game. I mean, Destruction Derby Raw, you know, is it works similarly, but at least in that game, it's at least possible to win the, the actual race itself. And, like, even crashing to the other cars isn't really that fun, because, like, actually trying to catch up to the other cars is a pain in the arse. It's like, it's, a, it's way easier for the other cars to crash into you, to, ca to catch up to you than it is for you to catch up to the other cars, believe me. I mean, I will say though, this is a little bit better when you got Rage Racing music in the background, but, you know. 
That doesn't really make that good, though. And it's like, you crash to a car half time, you go spinning off course. So it's like, it's almost there's almost no point in crashing into the other cars. It's like, the racing isn't fun because it's impossible. And the actual crashing into the other cars bit isn't fun either because actually getting to the other cars is impossible as well. It's like, if they just made it so that the game is a little bit easier, this might be a lot more fun to play. But as it is, it's a pain in the arse. And it's no surprise that Reflections made this game, because Reflections can make a good driving game, save their lives, let me tell you that right now. You know, they can make a good Destruction Derby, with Destruction Derby mode, but making a good racing game is beyond them. Let me tell you that right now. But yeah, like I said, this game is just not very good. It's I don't care what anyone says. I don't care if you, okay, I don't care if you're a huge fan of Destruction Derby or whatever. Because I can tell you right now, I'm, after this game, I'm really not. It just it kind of sucks. It's, it really is that simple. And yeah, that's it. I mean, I don't sound like I don't sound like why people kept buying Reflections games. It, Considering that they all sucked, but whatever. Uh, Pandemonium. Now, I've actually got this game as well. And this is actually quite a good game. Because um, this is like a 2D platformer. And I can tell you right now, I tend to be quite a fan of 2D platformers. I mean, I've said before, I really like platformers in general. Um, but especially 2D ones. They're just, you know, they're just my sort of thing. And Pandemonium is kind of like that. Maybe yeah, Chris Dynamics, yeah, they also made the Gex games, and, uh, some other games. Actually, no, didn't they make Legacy Kane Soul Reaver? Okay, what is this? <laughs> this isn't Pandemonium. <laughs> yeah, it's not Pandemonium, I can tell you that right now. Well, it's like a point and flick game or something? I don't know. Looks like it. Yeah, I will say one thing about these, like, um... Oh, what is it? I will say one thing about these point-and-click games. They do they do tend to have, like, really good animation. At least, like, the ones that are in, like, you know, 2D animated. Like, I think when they switch to, like, you know, 3D models and stuff, they just sort of lost their appeal, I think. That's just my opinion, though. I mean... Because I haven't seen, like, a single good-looking... You know, 3D, whatever. <laughs> but it seems kind of weird to have, like, trailers before a game. I mean, it, it reminds me of, like... Yeah, I mean... So, yeah, this isn't Pandemonium either. It's kind of weird. It's like... It reminds me of, like, when you used to play, like, a VHS. And you'd have, like, those trailers at the beginning. I mean, you get them on, like, DVDs and Blu-ray as well, I think. I mean, I've... Well, I'd, I've never played a Blu-ray, but, um... Yeah. So, I think... Yeah, this is Blood Omen, isn't it? To be honest, I've only have played Soul Reaver um, from the Legacy of Kane games. Soul Reaver is a really good game, I think. Um, I don't have played this game, but it looks very different. Because I mean, this is like one of those sort of you know overhead sort of hack and slash games almost. When I say hack and slash, I can't really think of a better term for them. I mean, this is probably like an official like term to describe them with, but I'm just gonna call them like overhead hack and slash, or whatever. Oh no, it's like. Well, I mean, I, to be honest, I've been wanting to play some of the other Legacy of Kane games. And yeah, they split them. Uh, <laughs> I've seen it before, so that's it on you. But, um, I always wanted to play, like, some of the other, like, Legacy of Kane games. And... Okay, this is Pandemonium. Ooh. I remember this. Boom. That was the coolest, but it needed more firepower. Yeah, really blast one. Well, which one should I The jester was kind of creeped me out as a kid. <laughs> I used to play him for some reason, even though... Was it Nikki? I think? Yeah, it was like a double jump. And therefore it's better, because the double jump is awesome. But anyway, just watch this. So I do like this.
Good job. That was fun. Horrible, but fun. Uh, okay, Toots. Uh, make with the kid rid of the giant monster spell. I don't know that one. Um, check the book. Check the book. To get rid of Yungo, seek a boon from the wishing engine. A boon? What the heck's a boon? A wish, you idiot. And look, here's a map. Let's go. What was that with that weird, like, cut off noise at the end? I don't get that. I don't remember that being in the full game, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, well, of course, you can't use the password, because that would be kind of pointless, I think. I mean, I assume it's just the first level. Um, so, I mean, the levels in this game are fairly long, from what I remember. At least for, like, a 2D sort of platformer, they're relatively long, from what I. Actually, no, can I do something with this? Or. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can tell I've played this before. I used to play this game all the time as a kid. Like, <laughs> I'm not sure if I ever beat legit. I do remember... So I do remember as a kid I was a cheap git and just cheated to set up lay levels because I wasn't very good at the game. From what I remember. Um... Oh. Yeah, nice try. <laughs> Health, even though I don't need it. Uh... And then you got these watermelons that you bounce on for some reason. Which is kind of weird. I never it's the way like you have like watermelons and stuff, which just it's kind of I mean, the game doesn't really take itself seriously, as you can probably tell from the intro, but still. This especially was stripping is kind of odd. So yeah, give me this stuff. And you can just do this. I yeah. See, and like I said, Nikki, yeah, that was the name, wasn't it? Yeah, her has the uh, double jump, and Fargus, if I remember correctly, does not. He has, like, I think it's like he has, like, a projectile attack all the time or something like that, if I remember correctly. I mean, it's been ages since I've bothered actually playing as him. Oh, bugger. Oh, let's do this. Actually, no. I think you need to, like, bounce on the enemy's head and then, yeah, get up there that way. Booger. But let's just, yeah, sob the, uh, <laughs> the collectible stuff. Oh, yeah, I remember this bit. It's one of those things where you have to keep bouncing on them. These weird, like, winged rat things. <laughs> Let's just go up here, collect this stuff. Uh, see, cause I, the thing I remember with this game is that it gets quite difficult once you get to like the, uh, well, I say ice levels, when you got this stuff all the time, basically. Which I, I seem to remember was like after the first boss, I think. Oh, oh bugger. I forgot about this. Yeah. That's me being an idiot. <laughs> The best part about these videos is watching me act like a fool. And as we said, graphically, this game is really quite good for PS1. So yeah, and I swear those things always kind of amuse me, just the sound effects like do. Okay, and that's me being an idiot again. Miss that oh. No, why didn't I jump there? That's kind of weird. Okay, that wasn't my fault, honest. Just kind of the closing section being kind of weird. Actually, no, I remember what Fogs did now. I think he had like a cartwheel move or something like like Diddy Kong in Donkey Kong Jr. Sorry, Donkey Kong, um, Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong Jr. is uh, a totally different game. Let's not, <laughs> let's not have a collision detection issue with the stuff this time. Let's actually do this. It's kind of sad that I died on the first level, but whatever. Oh, so I mean, this is like me playing this as a kid, pretty much. Or, you know, attempting to and failing. Oh, this part's kind of annoying. I always just jump over him, because it's... You know, the camera doesn't really help much in this bit. Yeah, let's just see there. <laughs> Might as well collect that, even though it's kind of pointless, but whatever. Oh, bug off. You can also uh, go in from the top. Completely forgot about that. Let's just do this bit. Uh, you can't actually go through there. I remember that. 
let's just do this. I remember if you go down to the left, you can get some bonus stuff, as you can see. Multiply by two. And I, I say I really like the music in this game as well. It's pretty awesome. Okay, let's collect this ring. 25 bonus. Yeah. If you use a bit of dexterity, you'll get through this bit pretty easily, I think. So what's killing the enemies I find is like the hardest part of this game. And why is this thing have so many teeth? It's ridiculous. I want to go up here, collect this stuff. Actually, no, I think Country Fit probably should have played as far, I guess, because it's got the. Uh... See, so, yeah, I mean, the thing is, I like to play as Nicky because, you know, it's easy to get into, like, secret areas and stuff. For August, it's, like, easier to kill these enemies. You know, just the enemies are just, like, being gits. Let's just go through here. Oh, I gotta press the button too late. Oh, well. Yeah, you don't really need to double jump there. You do need to double jump here, though, remember that. And for some reason, this part can't reach you to Super Mario 64 when you're on that. You know, the mountain level. You know, the goofers and stuff. I don't know why, if for some reason, I went to that. It's probably. It probably shouldn't, really. So, yeah, collect that stuff. I gotta wait for this. Yeah, you do a get extra lives in this one after like I'm pretty sure it was like 300 of those things you collect. Ooh, video game inflation. It's like in Sonic you just collect like hundred rings and get an extra life, whereas in this game it's like you have to collect 300 of these these things. I don't even remember what they were. But they're things, and that's the important thing. Let's just blast you. I don't think you've run out of ammo with this thing. I think it's just if you get hit, you lose it. So basically, just don't get hit. <laughs> Pro tip. Oh. And of course, as I say that, I nearly get hit myself. And Scratch out, I did get hit because those things are just buggers. And. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Pretty simple. Uh. And, yeah, password, even though it's kind of pointless in the demo, but whatever. And, yeah, that's it. And you get all this stuff. And, yeah, I mean, that's it. And, yeah, it's like all the games on here from, like, 1996, 1997. So, there's definitely, generally speaking, there's definitely a step up in quality between this and number three, I think. At least for the most part. I mean, there's a few really good games in number three, but still. And the phone is going off like a twat, as it always does. Little Big Adventure. Haven't really been looking forward to playing this one again. Because I've played this one before, and it's probably a good game if you're into these sort of games, but I don't know. Adventure games, not really my sort of thing, generally speaking. You know, it's just... I don't know, it's like... You know, if there's, if there's nothing I like more in video games, it's, it's fast-paced action. That's why, that's why I really like games like, you know, Future Cop LAPD. I was going to say Metal Gear Solid. I'm not sure that would be the best of examples. But, um, I mean, like, Contra. You know, I mean, like, arcade games in general, really. Even though most of them are, like, really hard, but, you know. Uh, yes, Adeline. Adeline, I don't know. Um, and EA. Yeah. But, you know, it's, like, I think the best, like, adventure game on PS1. I'm not sure, actually, because, you know, I don't really play much. <laughs> not really my sort of thing, generally. And, of course, I'm going to just pick English. Can I... I do hope I can skip the cutscene, because... I mean, this is another game I played on, um... Eurodemo 106. Yeah. Uh, what should I call myself here? It's just... Pick some random letters. Uh, yeah, let's just go for two to C. I don't even know what that means, but whatever. Uh, can I skip this? Oh, I can skip this. I want to skip this one because I've seen this before, but whatever. 
Actually, you know, I kind of want to watch this because it's so cheesy. Or at least the voice acting is. Each hemisphere is warmed by a single sun. Mm. The northern hemisphere, with its orange sky, is warmer than the southern hemisphere. <laughs> Why is the voice acting? For a region, the planet's climate is clement. The formation of life forms on the planet was thus favorable. Mm. Four species developed over the course of the centuries. The spheros, the rabbi bunnies, the quetches, and the grobos. I'm the Grobos from like Croc or something. Oh wait, no, that was, no, wait, no, it's the Gobos, wasn't it? Oh, oh yeah, it's alright. But you could probably skip it when it like, shows text, but still. The population has been living under a reign of terror. Bonfrock set up a police state where suspicion is omnipresent. It sounds like a retarded version of the. Uh, well, I'll tell you the Terminator, but I don't think I'll, I know Doctor Bonecrack's computer. I don't know. Doctor Robotnik, I guess. Maybe. Any of the species at will, and subsequently recruit these clones into his ranks. He can then deploy these clones instantly through a network of telepods that are dispersed over the entire planet. Mm. <laughs> a few years ago, under the guise of protecting the population. Dr. Funfrock herded the planet's habitants into the southern hemisphere. The repression is harsh. Every day brings more and more arrests, and the people slowly begin to lose hope. In an effort to keep their spirits up, the people sometimes evoke an ancient legend along with the name of a goddess, Sendel. The mentioning of the legend, or Sendel, has since been forbidden by Dr. Funfrock. Meanwhile, a named Twinson has been having strange dreams. I imagine they involve a cheesecake or something, I don't know. I mean, they may as well. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I remember this. Oh, okay, there's music on this for some reason. I get the film... Actually, I'm not sure, is this music actually even in the game? I have no idea. I don't... I mean, I don't have this game. Um... And I'm not really that familiar with it, like, I know the basic controls, because I remember, like, I played this before out of interest. Uh, ooh. So I remember this, you could just keep punching this guy. Oh. So yeah, I've, yeah, I'm in aggressive mode. What's the what's the button I pressed last time? I honest can't remember. No. No! I, I don't want to go into the cutscene. Is it the X button? So this guy's just... Why is it... I swear last time I just beat this guy's ass in like two seconds. So I don't know what's going on here. The X. It, no! I don't, I don't want to press that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it is the square button. Like, I don't get that. I was pressing the square button earlier. It didn't work. But yeah. Oh, the spell away. Yeah. <laughs> Put a Kato string solo right there. See, I will say I do like that. Just those sound effects. See, and I don't understand what was the music, because there isn't any music now, so it doesn't really make much sense. See, because I remember you got to, like, sneak around all the enemies and stuff. Has you know, it's a bit sod you. I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm just... No! Didn't okay, I get off the swing? You know, it's a bit sod you. Yeah, I think I'm buggered. <laughs> it's like Mel gets sold when you get caught, you just like punch everyone. And actually, yeah, I remember what happens there. So I remember if you get caught, you have to like redo everything, and I'm just like, sod that. Yeah. See this. And... Actually, no, can I quit out of this? Because if I'm in correctly, you can quit back to, um. You can quit back to the menu. Hopefully, because I don't want to have to. Uh, yeah, because just once it'd be nice to go. For a demo, not having to reset the PlayStation, but I think you have to reset it on this one, which sucks. It's kind of weird. I don't think it even showed like the reset thing. Or not. 
Yeah, I know that. Or, I don't know, maybe if you beat the demo, it quits over it, but I don't know. I'm just going to reset it because whatever. See, I mean, just once I'd like to be able to get through one of these demos without having to reset the console. Because it's like, no matter which one it is I play, it's like, I have to, I was in the time to reset it. Or because the game's a, or because the game is a twat that doesn't let me quit over it. Or because it's like, the, the demo just doesn't feel like being read properly or something, I don't know. But, let's just try this again. Well, I say, let's try this again. I mean, I've played it already, so whatever. Um, but yeah, let's just try to, like play the rest of the games, I guess. I mean, this is already going to be the longest video in the series, so far at least. There's probably going to be ones after this are uh, longer. Actually, I'm almost certain of that, come to think of it. Uh, reloaded. <laughs> I don't want to play another loaded game. I played the original loaded on, um, you know, Essential PlayStation 2 and it sucked. And I don't think this one's really going to be any better, because, like, I've said before, Gremlin sucked on the PS1. It's as simple as that. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah, I don't care if you like like their Commodore 64 games or whatever because they had some good games on that. But on the PS1 all their games just sucked pretty much. Like I'm seriously like a couple of like demos away from saying that nothing they ever did was any good. You know. So, so we got this. So do we have to play this one I guess? Presumably. So I'm willing to bet it's like you can only pick one of them. Because that's what happened with the last game, so. Or, you know, the original game. So it's like Toy Story or something. <laughs> yeah, it's like a. It's almost like a messed up version of Toy Story. That's what it kind of feels like to me anyway. Minus the talking toys and all that, but whatever. Like, what's even going on here? I don't get it. Like, the character designs in this, like, the character designs in these games are just kind of weird to me. And, I don't think they ever made a third game. I hope not, because I can't imagine it being any good. Because I think this is just, like, the first game, but maybe harder or something, I don't know. Uh, Chip has been trekked to his secret base. <laughs> is that is that's an actual plot? It's like, you know, it's like giving Contra a plot, you know, it's kind of yeah, I mean, it's there, but, you know, it may as well not be. Uh, yeah, whatever. I don't particularly care anyway. Because, like I said, I mean, I didn't really like the first game, so. Uh, okay, load in. Well, if I fail on the mission, now I'm just going to quit the demo. <laughs> or the demo will quit itself, whichever. Um, but, yeah. Let's just finish this, so let's just play this. If it starts to load, here we go. Um, what's the problem with PS1 is load times? Okay, actually the sound on this is really sparse, I mean, I don't know if there's supposed to be music, but, like, okay, I don't even know what happened there, like, like, I didn't even get hit by anything, what killed me? Like, surely I kind of got hit by the bullets, because... It's so awkward, like, you aim into, like, the right. It's reminds me of, like, Super C, or, you know, where you got those overhead levels. Except this is kind of more awkward. And I didn't really care for levels and... Okay. And no of a sudden I start aiming to the left. That's kind of weird. Actually, did Contra 3 do that? Or... Oh, I honestly can't remember. Either way, it's a better game than this. Uh, ooh. Okay, that was kind of weird. Like, I'm not even sure how the controls work. See, and this is, like, I don't get this, like, I aim left and then I aim, like, the gun's in the left hand and then all of a sudden it's in the right hand. It's basically, yeah, this is just, it's like the first game, except all the enemies shoot you, so it's, like, impossible. It's like, how are you supposed to avoid that? It's impossible. At, at least in the first game, I can actually kill it for fear, but, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says, that sucked. I mean, I don't say, like, why did Gremlin get away with producing so many garbage games on PS1? It doesn't make any sense. It's like, yeah, Reloaded was the friggin', you know, it was like the best game, and then you play it now, it's just, it's garbage. Anyway, Monster Trucks. 
Yeah, I remember this was on that registration demo, but it didn't actually work. So, hopefully it works this time, because I do remember this game at least being better than Instruction Derby 2, because I know this is made by the same people, as you can see. Uh, well, I do want to play it. <laughs> I'm not going to just, you know. Because, like I said, I do remember this, at, at the very least, being better than Instruction Derby 2. This, I mean, this is probably the closest that Reflections have ever come to making a good game. I mean, I'm, you know, I mean, I may be harsh on certain companies, but it's like, you know, judging from the games I've played from them, I think I'm justified, I think. But I seem to remember this game is better than... You got off that, the guy in front gets to go first, that's kind of brilliant. <laughs> okay. Oh. Also, <laughs> also out of out of place Ridge Racer music on this, or Rage Racer, whatever. Actually, you know what? Compared to like Destruction Derby 2, this game is so easy. <laughs> okay, what the hell's going on? Like, why am I driving like a volcano bridge or something? Or your lava bridge or something? I don't know. I guess I was trying to be extreme! But, you know what? <laughs> this game. I take back what I said about all the Destruction Derby games are going to pain the arse to play. This is actually so easy, it's unbelievable. Like, like I've been like in the lead for the whole race aside from like, the first 10 seconds. I mean, I'm already catching up to like the other drivers, it's ridiculous. Like, why is- I don't get the- like, why is this game so easy when like Destruction Derby 2 is like impossible? It doesn't make any sense. Why is the game running so slow? Okay, the PS1 can run better than this, I can tell you that right now. I mean, I've got the best processor in the world, and it may be severely outdated, but it could definitely handle more than this game. <laughs> I mean, this is from like 1997, I think. Probably even 90. Well, actually, no, I wasn't really paying attention in the beginning, I was just like a developer. Um, but yeah, it's, I think it's just like as long as you avoid driving into like the lava and stuff, you, it's like. I mean, look at this, I've overtaken like half the other drivers, it's ridiculous. Okay, let me clump this hill. Then I can finish this. I mean, yeah. <laughs> that was just that was effortless. I guess that proves my point that I'm not completely terrible at driving games. Yeah, you know, if you thought that after looking at my you know destruction RB2 playing and failing, yeah. There's proof that I'm not completely terrible at least. Anyway, Street Racer. I never played this game. I think I'm sure this was on the Super Nintendo, but I don't think I've ever played this one. Um, but this always kind of struck me as one of those sort of like cheap games that you would get and you just kind of play for a few minutes and whatever. But I don't know. I mean, I mean, there's certain like really terrible games that they include on these demos. I mean, Cyber Deck, Party Time with Winnie the Pooh and stuff. But I don't know. I mean, maybe this is a good game. I don't know. Uh, demo for the official PlayStation magazine. Fair enough. Uh, okay, eight players single to split. Mm, okay, I thought that was like Micro Machines was like the first one to do that. But apparently I'm wrong. Uh, so I guess this is like, you know, you want to get like multiplayer like racing, you'd get like this and Micro Machines and whatever. So I know Micro Machines was released around at the same time. Okay, well, <laughs> pretty complicated controls with like, it's like Road Rash or something. I don't know. Um, let's see what we got here. When it starts to load. <laughs> oh, ooh, okay, 996. So, I guess this was before Micro Machines V3. Okay, uh, we'll play, well, one player. So, let's see if I've got. Oh, okay, so we've got like two players. and So, if I've got. What was that guy's name? Like, the Sultan from Aladdin? Oh, okay, he changed the colour, I didn't realise. Uh, or he could play as Frankenstein, I guess. Let's go with Frankenstein. Might as well. Okay, load in some more. And Vivid Image. I mean, didn't Vivid Image make scars? I think they did, because I do recognise the name. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> yeah, this really just be like a Super Nintendo game, I gotta say. Oh, it, 
Actually, no, this is like... It's like a Mario Kart game. It's like if you took Super Mario Kart and crossed it with Road Rash. That's what it feels like. And you can fly. Okay, that's kind of weird. Oh, okay. Actually, I'm not sure you can fly with helps and stuff. Looks like it. Why is this guy so much faster than I am? I can't really tell. And do the characters even have names? Because I'm just going to assume the guy I'm playing as is just Frank Science Monster or whatever. Actually, I really like this music though. It sounds pretty awesome. Yeah! Depending on which I was on a motorbike, you just go road rash on this bitch. Wait, 10 laps? Seriously? That's a, that's a lot of laps. But then again, this track is so short that I guess it's just the way it is. Okay, is there even any points of that, or is that just like taunt? I'm not sure. I'm guessing it's taunt, but I seem to be winning right now, because it says position 1. Okay, let's do this. Let's finish this. Actually, I want to see if I can get one of those pills before I end the race. Oh, you bugger. No! I don't get this, like... Why is it that most of the... Oh, okay, apparently you take damage from crashing into the dynamite, but I don't want to that. No, why am I not winning? Let's catch up to this bitch. No, I don't think you're winning. Bugger. Should have used the turbos or whatever. Probably would have won that way, but whatever. Not like it really matters, because... You know, but who really cares? Oh, okay, I guess the characters do have names. Frank one, fair enough. Uh, oh, you have to get, but do you have to play more races or something? Because I wouldn't have thought so. I don't know. Oh, okay, do you get to play? Oh, okay, you do get to play second race, that's pretty awesome. Wasn't expecting that. So, what is the turbo's button? Is it like circle or something? Okay, so there is like a boost at the beginning, like in Mario Kart. Okay, well, I ran to the Donner at that time, I didn't, I didn't take damage from it though, so I don't really understand what that is about. And again, I really like the music in this, it sounds pretty awesome. Okay, and the turbo doesn't really seem to help much, although. I guess it's like if you're off the track or something, it doesn't really work or something. Although, it kind of sucks though, is why are the tracks in this so short? Yeah, take that. I'm Frank Stan's monster! You can't beat me. Do that and I'll strangle you or some shit. And yeah, it's circle one for the turbos. But I have to say, like, like I said, this really reminds me of Super Mario Kart. Just like, just because they're flat, a lot of this stuff is. It's just, you know, it feels like it. I mean, it feels, you know, a bit more advanced than that. And I'm not saying it's bad because of that. I mean, I like Super Mario Kart. I think it's a really good game. Um, and this actually is playing quite well, I think. It's a bunch of salt and <laughs> Okay. Turbo! Actually, this game is quite easy when you know... <laughs> if you ever played Mario Kart before. And, I mean, talk about Mario Kart, I mean, Super Mario Kart is arguably the best one. Um, but, you know, I mean, I mean, as a kid, I used to think Mario Kart 64 was, like, the best game, but I don't know. Playing them now, I'd probably say, oh, you... What is going on here? Why do I keep... Why do I keep finishing second? Like, this is ridiculous. Oh, it's Surf. As though it's sod you. <laughs> Next time I'm just going to punch the... Can you always kill the other players? Because I, I know there's like a health bar. I'm just going to punch the shit over. And then, then we'll see what's what. Wait, how am I in the lead? I mean, I don't know. Maybe you get points for like punching the other players or something. Ooh, okay, a third race. I wasn't expecting to get three races out of this. And I know it's like a boost ring at the beginning, but I'm not sure what the timing is. Like, I managed to do it on like the last race, so I don't know. And now I'm losing really badly. So yeah, I mean, I'm guessing, yeah, you must get points around punching the other players. It certainly feels like it anyway. You can see that this bitch in first. Oh wait, no, it's, uh, no, wait, no, it's going second or fourth. 
Okay, well this track's a bit more to it than the other ones. More turns and oh, you bugger. I like how most of the punch is saying even if you don't hit something. So you know you got an awesome punch, and punch in the air causes an impact. Oh, we've got to move around this perfectly. Actually, no. Kinda of sucks there was no slide like there is in the Mario Kart games. So I'm just gonna keep boosting my way to the top. Oh. I don't think I'm gonna win this one. Just a hunch. But I can try. So yeah, maybe I've Maybe if I could take shortcuts, I could probably beat this. Is this, is this pretty intense? Oh, you forget. Ha! Beat that. I don't get this though. How am I level on points if I come second in both races? I don't know. And, okay, I took barely any damage there. No! Why am I doing so badly all of a sudden? Ooh. Ooh. These opponents don't let up. This way, it really does feel like like if you were to like take Road Rash and cross it with Mario Kart. Yeah, and with this. And I love Road Rash and Mario Kart, so. There should be more games like this. Just like punch people near the cars and stuff. Yeah. Saving this turbo. So I got so many punches off this bitch. No, when our turbo is bugger. No, it's about sod you, I've got it. <laughs> I got a flying car. Oh, what? Yeah, of course, second again. How are you, how are you supposed to win this? this is impossible. <laughs> it's like, how do you even win the races in this? It's like, no matter what you do, that freaking surf. Bitch always overtakes you somehow. So, yeah, there we go. Bug, and yet, somehow I end up with the same amount of points. That's kind of weird. So, I, I don't know. Does that, does that mean a win? I have no idea. Because it says I was in first, so. Yeah, I win! Even though I got the same amount of points as that other person. I don't really get that. Oh, and we got the credits as well, so. I don't know, it's like three races, like the whole cup or something? I don't know. But yeah, I beat the game! Awesome! That's where they're going, the right. He looks like a character from Futurama, I think. Or, no. Maybe I confused him with something else. Because I swear I've seen. It was like a cartoon with a guy that, has, that looks just like that. It'll probably come back to me like after I've done this video. And, okay, the crates are looping, that's kind of weird. Yeah, because it kind of reminds you of, like, Z Zoidberg almost for some reason, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> Street Racer. Um, but yeah, overall, it's not a bad demo, really. There's some pretty bad games on there, but still, you know. I mean, yeah, I mean, Central PlayStation 5, I mean, that's it. <laughs> but I mean, Rage Racer's good, Exhumed's really good, Warhammer might be good, but the demo sucks, so I don't know. Excalibur 2555 is pretty bad. Destruction Double 2 is very good. Pandemonium is good. Little Big Adventure might be a good game. I don't know. Uh, Reloaded sucks. Monster Trucks is way too easy. And Street Racer is pretty good, I think. But yeah, that's it. Anyway, I will see you later, people. See you.